looking one way to another. There was a great change in America for the Islamic community that had a great impact, that, that had a great impact, a major part of the growth and development of Islam in America and in the world. It even affected the Muslim world because never did they expect such a great transition a great transition into Islam in such mass numbers that took place in 1975. And not to mention in the latest, a few years after that, the largest Hajj ever to leave America, led by Imam Wazidin Muhammad, who became the leader of the nation of Islam in 1975. How am I tying this in, brothers and sisters? Oh, you talking about that? Yes, because we have to tie it to ourselves. And now we're going to flip. And you're going to see, tie whichever way you want. But always bring it to yourself as much as you can. It's a book for all time. And there's change going on. And we have experienced that. Alhamdulillah. 2020, we know it's vision. 2020 vision. And Allah is letting us to see some things we've never seen before and never thought we would see. Never thought we would see this uh, uh, as a result of an unseen virus, what we see going on throughout the world. And then a reaction to the killing of a black man, that we would see that and see this mass reaction. But Allah is letting us see it, whether we thought we would see it or not. Now, I just went to here. Now, 1975, year of great change for Islam in America. Because it happened. We got to look back. Sometimes we'll say hindsight is 2020. We say, hey, if that happened there, under those circumstances, but first we looked at Muhammad the Prophet, look at the history of Islam, how Islam changed the world. Well, this is something that made me and thousands of others become Muslims following the way of Muhammad the Prophet, the Quran, the Sunnah of Muhammad the Prophet, the universal teachers of Islam. Major, the majority of Muslims in America follow Muhammad the Prophet, the way of Muhammad the Prophet, the Quran, the universal teachings of Islam. Whereas before, for over 40 years, the nation of Islam had the dominant projection of what Islam is, that God is a man, etc., not just those things don't coordinate with Quran, but there were also great good that came out of that that tied us into that. But Allah caused us, by the grace of Allah, starting in 1975, to make a great transition. Now, I want to speak to those of us and those who associate with the association of Imam W.D. Muhammad, or even those that are still in the nation of Islam, and even those that are not in either one of those. The great change in 1975 had an impact on Islam in America, period, and brought thousands into the, the way the Quran and life example of Muhammad the Prophet. And even those that were not there and made that transition as Muslims now, they have been affected by that in some way. Even he wasn't around then. It was the result of a great change. Now, what I'm, I'm going to say here, what, I, what I'm doing here is not only that year when Imam Muhammad became the leader of the nation of Islam, that's undisputable. Whether they liked the change or not, whether they broke and went with someone else or not, it's undeniable that he became the leader of the nation of Islam and brought about these changes, right? But I'm going to look at its connection with Islam anyway when it happened. The timing is everything. And Allah says, look, read the signs. <coughs> There's a time and a place for everything. Now, when you look at 1975, Whoever you are, whether you accept Imam Muhammad or like what the nation of Islam did or any, I'm not talking about that right now. What we're getting ready to do now is look at the year 
1975 connected to El Islam. You know, this one is a thousand millennia. This would be hundred, right? Nine hundred. Decade. Year. This is 2020. But then, what happened in 75? That one, we were bought from the concept of many gods that every 25,000 years, another god come into being, right? The one before Farad was Alfonso, etc., right? And that a god would come behind that. So we were bought in 75, 1975, to the proper concept of God. Tawheed, wholeness, wahid, one God. Kalas, that's it. Kuhu Allahu Ahad. Under the leadership of Imam Muhammad, he banned all that and said, there's one God. Allah is God, Muhammad is his messenger. One God, and we came into the wholeness, the oneness of Allah, right? That's the one. Now you have to accept any of that, but let's just walk with these numbers here, okay? 1975, all that happened for a reason. One God. Then the nine, for 19, at 900. What did we do? In that same year, in September, we practiced Ramadan for the first time, along with all the other Muslims, in the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. That we have been fasting in December in protest to the Christian holiday of Christmas. But when Imam Muhammad, when that change came, one God, and we practiced fasting in Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic calendar with all the Muslims in the world, and it also happened in September. Go look it up. September is the ninth month of the calendar here uh, uh, in the West, the ninth month, and it was Ramadan fell in, so it was nine and nine, right? The ninth month in 1975, one God, Embracing the concept of one God, fasting, and many of you, you can bear witness, that was the longest and perhaps hardest fast we ever had. We were fasting in December when the days are short, sunset about 4 o'clock. We jumped from there to September, man. August, September, right? Into October, sunset, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, right? That happened in 75. So this nine represents us coming into Ramadan as a result of the oneness of Allah. And in the ninth month, when Muhammad the Prophet, we embraced Muhammad the Prophet, we, Imam Muhammad, he put the flag, it came right in, right? La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Not Elijah, did great work, great social reformer, but he's not the messenger of Allah. One God and Muhammad became the messenger of Allah in the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, Ramadan. And what about the seven? Seventy-five. And that year, and even now, for myself and others, after Ramadan, we have the end. We did the seven top beers. Go look it up. Seven top beers. What is the top beers? You want to dispute about that? You say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. That happened in 75. We did the top beers. And that seven declaring that Allah is completely the greatest. Not Farad, not our black man, not anybody else, but that Allah is the greatest. Top beer, Allahu Akbar. Seven times in 75. And then the five, top beers. Go look it up. And even now, we will do the seven top beers and the five. 75, and I'm going to tell you myself, among other things, doing Id, basically Id al Fitra with Ramadan, I do the seven and five. And for me, brothers and sisters, I do that because I think about what happened to my life and the life of thousands of others in 1975 that brought about for us the fasting in this month of Ramadan. It was in 75, as a result of Imam Muhammad's leadership, that I was even able to fast and be thinking about doing top beers in, in Salah. We weren't doing none of that. 
So when I do my seven and five, that's where my mind go, among other things. It goes to the fact that this was the seventh century when Muhammad the prophet became the messenger in the ninth month and came with Tawdahi, right? It was the seventh century, 610 when he got that. Six and one is seven, but even if you didn't go there, it's the seventh century. Like now we're in the 21st century that is going up to that next hundred years. It was in the seventh century that he got what? The five verses of Quran. In the seventh century, he got what? Read in the name of your Lord who created. Who created man from an Allah. Read in your Lord is most what? Akram, Kareem. Back to Kareem. Like Quran and Muhammad, Rasul and Kareem. Allah says, Ikram bismi rebika ledi kala. Kala kala said, I'm in Allah. Ikram abakbuka. Akram. Right? Name of your Lord who is most generous. Who taught man by the use of the pen. Taught him what he didn't know before. Five in the seventh century. And then those five pillars evolved. Those five uh, verses evolved to the five pillars in the seventh century. The seventh century came first. Then the five uh, uh, verses, the five salat, five times a day, right? And five pillars. So even if you didn't want to go with, hey, man, this reminds me of 75. Yeah, for me. That's what, that's what happens, man. Like, I'm doing this as a result of Allah blessing us and bringing about this change in 75. And to always remember how this happened, how we're doing right now, Quran, Muhammad the Prophet, for thousands of us at that time and for those who came and embraced later, that Islam, the work of Imam Muhammad had an impact on the world, and America, just like the nation of Islam did. And so that was a, a, a strong change. Make no mistake about that. It wasn't easy. Not only did you have people bucking against that, but we had to live with ourselves and our family when we're telling people white man's the devil, black man is God, don't eat collard green, don't eat shrimp, right? Don't eat lobster. The next thing you, man, we love lobster and shrimp, right? We wasn't supposed to have the scavenger of the sea. Don't eat sweet potato pie. I still can't eat sweet potato pie, bro. I have to have to be honest, man. You know, I'm so hooked on the bean pie and the butternut squash that if I eat that sweet potato pie, it just messes my stomach up. But for you brothers who eat that, thumbs up, man. I know it's good. My wife loves that stuff. Love it too, man. You know, so so that's change. It was a major change. Major change. And some couldn't do it. So 1975, one God came into Ramadan. He did seven top beers and five top beers. Now, seven and five. Not only that, so you keep this in mind when you do it. Don't worry about, well, it's to come to 12, but have logic, have reason, make connection with what you're doing. Don't just probably say we're doing this, that, and the other. No, if you're trying to work with people and do dialogue, et cetera, it ties right into a beautiful change, which we'll talk about and then close. Muhammad the prophet ascended to the seven heavens, right? And he came down with the five prayers. He didn't go to the seven heavens with five prayers. He went to the seven heavens and then came down with the five prayers. And for us, one God, fasting Ramadan, and performing the five prayers. Every day, that, that came in. And not only that, the seven, al fatiha. we used to recite the prayer of, of Abraham, right? Surely I turn myself to the Allah, trying to be upright to the originator of the heavens and the earth. That was our focus. But here, sat ad medhaniya, the seven oft-repeated verses. Alhamdulillah, Rebbe Alameen. Know your history. Never separate yourself from your history. Never separate yourself from your history history and your people this ties in those people we just want to point this out brothers and sisters 1975 brought about a major change for islam the growth and development for so many of us and it wasn't easy it was it was a challenge because some broke off and condemning the imam this and the other and whether that they uh Agree with it or not, they can't deny the fact that 1975 was a major change 
And so you look at, just like 2000, that's, that has a message, 220, 1975. And before we close, and you know I say this all the time, read Quran, study Quran. If you don't want to go with that, well, you can go with that and more. Look at it. Study the sign. Surah 1, El Fatiha, right? That's what we learned in 75. Start. Surah 9, Tauba. Some of us, uh, uh, many, made Tauba. Repentance for what they did following the teachings of the nation of Islam. They felt they had to do that. And maybe some things was done. You know, we talked about Malcolm and all of that. A lot of stuff was happening that maybe people made Tauba, Surah 9. And, and whether it's the nation of Islam or change from Christianity or from just the life of crime, all of that. But I'm tying 75. And then you go to Surah 7. What's Surah 7? The heights, Al-Araf. The heights. That's named after Arafat. Al-Araf. Araf. Araf. Ain Ra. Arafat. The Ain, the Ra, and the Fat. Look at number channel, uh, channel seven. Surah 7 is called Al-Araf. The heights is named after Arafat. It means higher knowledge. It's heights, but Allah said, lead to Arafu, to know, higher knowledge. So we came into a higher knowledge of Islam, right, for what we had. And then if you go to Surah 5, you go to Surah 7, you go to Surah 5. What's Surah 5? Ma'ida, table spread. And it says, and there is mentioned Id. That the followers of Jesus, they prayed, they said, can you tell your Lord to send down from the heaven a table spread that we might have an id? And we started having the id, right, at Weekway Park and other places throughout the country. But also in Surah 5, Allah says in the third ayat, he said, this day have I completed my favor upon you, right? perfected my religion for you and given you Islam as your religion. So that five, you go to Surah 5, that we fully came into the proper concept, beliefs, and practices of Islam in 1975. So when you, so here you can look at that. Now I'm tying this into change. We read from Quran where it was changed from the direction to Jerusalem to the Kaaba. We see change in the world, but we want to bring it to ourselves. That for Muslims, for Islam, that affect humanity. This wasn't just Muslim, because Muslims started getting more involved in politics, more involved in education, more involved in world activities. And that had an impact on our city, state, federal government, because Muslims are involved in everything. We came into that, right? Elected officials, education, uh, community and social organizations where we were just to ourselves. And even right now when you see these protests, make no mistakes, Muslims are involved in that. And if they're not involved in that, when they are, just look at this. Only the will of Allah, in my opinion, only the will of Allah. Who's heading up? the investigation into the killing of George Floyd that has had world implications for the Muslim. Ellison, he's a Muslim. And we pray that Allah guide him, protect him, and help him to reach what he needs to reach, give him the information to bring about the conviction that is needed to, for those charges against those who killed that human being, that African American in front of everybody. So, uh, dear believers, we just wanted to touch on that, and I hope you got something out of it, whether you agree or not. Change is inevitable. And it comes smoothly sometimes, other times, it's a fight, it's a, it's, it's, it's a challenge. It, 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 a, lot, a lot says we have to change it within ourselves. But life is always changing. And so, again, we want to always tie it into that. But I, but I had thought about this for a while. And when, and when I do my top beers for it or Fitra, I do seven and five. And I'm usually thinking about 
that transition led by Imam Wahidin Muhammad, by the grace of Allah, may Allah grant him paradise. But for Hajj, in you know, Adha, I do five and seven. Because Hajj is the fifth pillar. And in that fifth pillar, we do seven to wilds around the Kaaba. We go seven times between Safa and Mawra, and we pick up stones in groups of seven to throw at the Jimmerat. So seven is dominant, but even after we go around the Kaaba seven times, we go to the station of Ibrahim, where Ibrahim stood, Mecca Ibrahim, and Abraham was on the seventh level of heaven. So we go there, then we go to Safa and Mawra. So for me, I'll, I'll do uh, al Alha, the bright one, seven. I'll do five, pardon me, because that's the fifth pillar. And in that fifth pillar, seven is, is dominated. So five comes first, but that's the fifth pillar. Then we do the seven. Whereas for Ramadan, we do seven and five because it was the seventh century when he got the five verses. And it was the seven, and, and then he, Muhammad the prophet ascended to the seven heaven and came down with the five salat. So dear believers, hope we was able to share something with you all, with us all, and we pray that Allah will guide us, have mercy on us, uh, protect us, and grant us the good in this life and in the next. And let us continue to take care of change except to those guided by Allah and never would Allah And never would Allah make your faith of no effect, for Allah is to all people most surely full of kindness and mercy. So there was a change. They were looking that way. But then Muhammad, the brother of Islam, got guidance to turn from looking to Jerusalem to looking there to Mecca, to the Kaaba, right? Which we know. But, but here's the word. Like he says, uh, 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 a monumentous, or somebody might say, but it's great. Allah says, Well, in Kanat, let Kabiratan, Kabiratan, Akbar, Takbir, is the calf, the bear, and the rock, Kabir. That Allah said, This was a great, this was a great change, a great change which we're seeing in the world, that there's a change coming. Everything must change. The world has changed because of coronavirus. Great change. But Allah says, Allah says, illa, illa had lahu. That Allah said, indeed, this was a great change except for those, a great test, who was guided by Allah. And then it says, never would Allah, it used word, ignore or do away with what you was doing before of faith. Meaning this, that even though you were turning towards Jerusalem and you was praying that way, and now you got better guidance that your Qibla is to the sanctuary in Mecca, that there was a change. Allah says, what you did sincerely looking towards Jerusalem, your faith, your sincerity, that won't go up in smoke of no value. Allah doesn't do that. If you was looking somewhere and you was doing something with sincerity, Allah says, now that I've guided you to this direction and you understand that, don't think that was a waste. If you was good and you were sincere, as Muhammad the prophet say, some of the best of you here now were those who were the best in Jahiliyyah. If you were sincere and good and going turning towards Jerusalem, don't think that that was a waste, your prayer, your goodness. So whatever we was into, if we were sincere, and I'm heading somewhere, because that happened in America, that we were in the nation of Islam, those was in Christian Christianity, and we were sincere, trying to help our people, being faithful, trying to be honorable, trying to be truthful, trying to raise our people up from a dead level to a living perpendicular, trying to make them good, honorable, self-employed, <coughs> righteous-minded people.
following the teachings of the homeboy Elijah Muhammad, thinking that he's the messenger of Allah, thinking that God is a man, thinking that the black man is God and the white man is God, thinking those things that every 25,000 years will come another God, that if we were sincere in affecting the community to help our brothers and sisters get out of the mucking mouth, do you think Allah let that go to waste your goodness? No, indeed. And that's what Allah is saying to them. Yes, you was looking this way until the time came when I gave you the proper direction. And that was big change, and it was. For us in 1975, it was a major change. I know we experienced, I thought you said the white man was the devil. When he stopped being the devil, man, that was embarrassment, right? Oh, 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 if you wasn't right then, how can you be right now? All of these things. But we were sincere, and that's what Allah says here. But that was a great change. And Allah says, in all of that was to test those who was with you, Muhammad Islam, who was with the truth, and those who turn on their heels. And how do you know? Then Allah says of himself, Allah says, in Allah bin Nasir bin Nasir Because Allah is most kind and merciful. So we see change going on in the world. And so you can look back at history, because history is most qualified to reward all researchers. And looking back is his looking back is always 2020, right? That's what it says. Looking back is always 2020. So, there was a great change for the Muslim community. And Muhammad the Prophet got criticism and all of that. But they shifted the direction and gave him the Qibla, the Kaaba built by Ibrahim, his far father Ibrahim. So we're talking change, because that's what we're seeing in this world, brothers and sisters. Massive change. And so we read that. We wanted to go to that. From Quran, to see this change that's going on in the world. And that there's a test with all of us, with COVID-19. We're losing loved ones. We're losing family. We can't go see them in a hospital. Some of us have it. Some people had it. And overcame it and some didn't and then even this what we see a test to see that man in other situations with a knee on that man on George Floyd crying for his life and crying for his mother a great test but inshallah change protests all over honorable good peaceful protest and it's fleshing out other things from Pharaoh from Pharaoh leadership in the world that we see. So we wanted to go there. And now, since we have change, and we always, like I say, I try to go to Quran and connect it to us. So now we in Quran, and it was a great change. So now, from looking one way to another, there was a great change in America for the Islamic community that had a great impact that, that had a great impact, a major part of the growth and development of Islam in America and in the world. It even affected the Muslim world because never did they expect such a great transition, a great transition into Islam in such mass numbers that took place in 1975. And not to mention in the latest, a few years after that, the largest Hajj, 